When some state lawmakers get back to Columbia next month, they'll have brand new office furniture. It is a $2 million update for the House members' offices. As Jody Barr reports, lawmakers say their old furniture was out of code for their offices. This is the new uh, uh, desk in the uh, computer table. State Representative Gary Smith says the $2 million his committee decided to spend on refurnishing House members' offices had to be done. Smith is one of 124 members with legislative offices inside the Solomon Block building. 34 years ago, they bought the furniture for this, this building, and it's been here ever since. And the furniture that they bought was the courts meant to take and meet the, the needs of that day, which meant they were, they were built around typewriters and other things like that that are no longer here. Smith says the old furniture was breaking. They couldn't find replacement parts and too dangerous for house offices. When we're having the, uh, the, the, the wall units that go on top of the credenzas falling, uh, that's a huge problem for us and a huge safety issue for us. Literally, we were putting it together and keeping it together with duct tape. We photographed some of the furniture state workers moved out of the building. This is the side of a lawmaker's desk. Here are several others. The only damaged piece we found was this chair with a sign attached. We found the furniture Representative Smith described as out of code at a state surplus warehouse in West Columbia, where it was for sale to the public. These are chairs from inside members' offices. Lawmakers spent nearly $500 a chair to replace the ones they're selling to the public. Here are dozens of lawmakers' office chairs. They do show signs of wear, but all are for sale to the public. This is a lawmaker's credenza and bookshelf. It still has the house inventory label on it. Surplus is selling this piece for $50. Surplus officials told us most of the furniture they pulled out of the house office building was sold to other state agencies for use in those offices. And if that's the case, why is it safe for other state agencies? Why are they reselling this furniture right now? And, and wasn't there a less expensive option than $2 million in brand new furniture? The state recouped some money off the old pieces. State records show surplus collected $17,363 off the old furniture. There are still hundreds of pieces left at state surplus. My guess is prison industries probably could have done whatever was needed for less than $50,000, and instead, uh, legislature spent $2 million. So it's a huge waste of public funds. Ashley Landis and John Kringle lead two groups that keep a close watch on how lawmakers spend your tax dollars. Neither knew of the $2 million furniture renovation until we called them to ask for an interview. As of this report, the House has spent more than $1.5 million on new furniture. The entire renovation project will cost just short of $2 million. They furnished 122 offices. That's an average of $12,862.41 per office. House members are here three days a week, six months a year, and most of that time is spent in committee and mm -hmm. on the floor of the House. How do you tell the public that, you know, this, this was needed when there's so little time spent in these offices? Well, you, you're looking at uh, at least six months out of the year that they are here. Uh, and spending time in the office. Another problem, according to Representative Smith, some lawmakers started buying their own furniture, ending up with mix-matched furniture from office to office. The furniture the state owns, Smith says, was becoming a major problem. Could you ballpark or estimate the number of work orders that were filed to have furniture repaired in this building? No, I, I, I can't, because uh, it, it happened uh, almost on a daily sort of a basis. If it's unsafe and dangerous, why is it okay to sell it to the public? Why is it okay to give it to other state agencies? It's been 34 years, so we don't anticipate it replacing this again for a long time. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we spent the, uh, the public's uh, dollars very wisely in, uh, in this. Well, this furniture project is not over. Lawmakers plan to replace all staff and committee room furniture over the next few years, driving the total cost for this project near $2 million. From the State House, Jody Barr, WIS News 10.